Look, I got a spot right there. I got a spot right there. Ha. Ha. Uh. I don't normally get spots. I don't know why. <sighs> and all the pink has gone from my hair. My life is just ruined. Anyway, so I will do a haul instead. How exciting. Ooh. I've got my warm crow beer because I am British. We drink warm beer. <laughs> I've got some in the fridge. It's just, you know. Mm -hmm. mm. Chin chin, everyone. I hope you are enjoying the day. I am going to go outside and sit in the sun for a bit and pray for a thunderstorm because I love thunderstorms. Anyway, so things I bought today. Wait a minute, Lex, didn't you just get one of those? Are you gone mad? And uh, No, I bought another one because this one was 50p. And this one hasn't got the graduating fade-out thingy. Um, it is French glass, 50 pence. So I'm going to put it with the other one, sell them as a pair, so then I'll hopefully be able to get £12 for the pair. Hooray! And all is good with the world. Apart from war and shit. Um... I did buy some more French glass, but these are for me, They're not for you. I bought four of these for £1.45. French, because it says France, somewhere there, unless I dreamt it. No, it does say France, but it's backwards. So it says, Eknarf. Yep. Um... But yeah, it's just moulded glass, it's not even cut glass or anything. I don't even think they're particularly old, probably just from like the 80s or 90s. But I need new wine glasses because... <laughs> wine? Mm. No. Um, just because, you know, glasses break over time and I needed a new set because I don't actually have a set of glasses. Nobody needs a set of wine glasses. Nobody needs wine glasses. Such first world problems, isn't it? Oh no, all of my wine glasses are broken. I must replace them with an entire set of cut glass. Oh, we're all a bunch of wankers, aren't we? Anyway, it's £1.45 for a set of four of them. Uh, which I put in... Oh, look at this bag. Look at this sort of carpet bag thing. Oh, handmade, I think, out of some really awful fabric but I freaking love it um, this was £2.95 I should be able to get about £15 for it I mean just you know the handles alone I think sell for um, around about six to eight pounds just for that so the fact that someone's made a hideous bag with them I should be able to get £12-15 surely I think it's awesome anyway but you know that's no statement of anything really I think a lot of things are awesome like that tea set up there which my sister absolutely hates and I think is the greatest thing in the world but there we are um, I bought two pieces of clothing because they will buy one get one free in the clothing shop so for 4 99 I bought some green lamb now I bought some green lamb before didn't I um, these are tartan golfing pants I am determined to make golfing fashion fashionable. I mean, I'm just willing it to happen, and so if I say it to the universe, then it shall happen. So I was willing that I'm willing the, these to sell. So I paid technically two pound fifty, and I'm going to try and get twenty twenty five pound. It's a lovely tartan, blue tartans are my absolute favourite. I think that is a stunning tartan. And then um, the shop that I buy the that I bought this from, it is the kind of shop where the manager, um, she likes putting out all of her next and her Wallace and, you know, she has a certain taste herself. Um, and so that's, she tends to throw everything else out, well not throw it out, but like pass it on to one of the other shops in the train. Um, but I did manage to find this, so in other words, like there's not a lot there that I like that I would waste my time with. But I bought this, this is from Racing Green which they don't sell for loads for, but again, it's a nice check, little pinafore um, kind of dress, and I think that's going to look super cute on the right person. Obviously not me, because... Maybe it's... Ooh! Or a cape. Um, but yeah, so... 
I mean a tenner on that, surely from two pound fifty. Just because you know I haven't bought any clothing for like what seems like ages now. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Excuse me. Um, and then for ninety nine pence, I bought a set of darts, vintage darts. Um, these are unicorn ultra pack. So there's a set of three with nice flights on there. Like I'm not a darts fan or anything, so it's not like I know a lot about these. Just someone gave me some darts once to sell, so I know that Unicorn are a decent make, and I should be able to get um, about thirteen pounds on these. They're quite weighty, and they got nice. Like the flights are not missing any of the feathers, and what I haven't seen before is that it's come with a little dart sharpener. So that's got to add a couple of quid on, maybe. Who knows? Um, but obviously I'll. You know, clean it up a little bit because it is a bit manky. Or maybe I won't bother. Maybe someone will just like that as it is. But for 99 pence, should, yeah, get about 13, 14 pounds for them. That's kind of cool. Um, I got three little bits of jewellery again because I haven't bought enough jewellery recently. So I bought some earrings. I was hoping that the tops would be silver, but I tested them and they barely register, which means that there is a silver content. But it's probably, you know, like a Ma uh, Mexican so alpaca silver. But I thought these were lovely, kind of uh, like mother of pearl. Like sort of lily shaped. They sort of like a drop lily, fleur de lily or something. I don't know. If someone can tell me what kind of shape they are, that would be great. But I thought they were rather fabulous. And the good thing, obviously, about buying jewellery to sell on is just like having your own lending library, isn't it? And... You know, you can wear things whenever you want. But I thought they were quite stunning. For one ninety nine. I mean, I should be able to get £10 on them. And they're easy to post. Uh, I bought a brooch, not brooch, a bangle. Um, for 99p, or pound, or whatever. And I just thought it was really unusual. There's no maker's mark or anything. I don't know if it's handmade or whatever. You'll see something in the sales video coming up soon. Um, which is a bit of jewellery that surprised me which I haven't shown you guys because I literally bought it and sold it within two days, which was a shocker. Um, I'll tell you about that soon. Dun, dun, dun. But I thought this was really interesting, what they call Brutalist or whatever. Um, it looks handmade, but it looks, you know, kind of just bizarre and awesome. And I really liked it. And that was a pound, and I reckon... I'm going to shoot for a tenner on that. I know that sounds weird, but I think because it's so unusual. Unless, of course, I find it's from Poundland. Speaking of which, I'll be coming back to that in a minute. And then I bought this brooch for one ninety nine, Which is a bit too much to spend on a brooch in a charity shop, really. And first of all, I didn't think it was signed. But then there's a very, very faint... <coughs> right there, there's like a little oval... You won't be able to see that. And I know that um, Sphinx do their logos in ovals. And I could just make out an S and an X. So it must be Sphinx. Which is a good brand. So I should be able to be, get between £10 and £15 pound for that. Sometimes they go for even up to 20 because it's got turquoise in it. <coughs> Sorry, I need beer. Terrible, isn't it? As for me, come and be on telly. As for me. No, she don't like you guys. Right, I've never done one of these before. I mentioned Poundland, and I went to Poundland, and I bought some things that cost a pound. Like envelopes, and toffee fee. And jammy dodgers and Terry's chocolate orange. And you think, why? Why on earth? And party rings and stuff. Why? Why? No, I'm not having a party. These are all going to my friend Yabral in America. Because um, these are things that he loved when he was over here living in Cardiff. And so I promised him yesterday that I would send him a nice big package of all sweets and things that are bad for him. I'm also going to smuggling, smuggle him in, shh, don't tell anyone, some kinder surprises and hope that they don't search them. I'm going to hide them, like in the package, I'm going to hide the kinder surprises uh, in a 
two kilogram bag of cocaine. So hopefully they won't notice the Kinder surprises are there and it should be fine. Yes. Anyways, I hope you are all having a lovely day and lovely sales. My sales have been freaking cracking over the last few days. Really, really, really good. I had a 280 pound day yesterday and the day before was like something quite high again, like a hundred and something and followed, you know, that had followed a, pre a really good weekend. So I'm well chuffed and I might book a holiday soon. Hey. Anyways, yes, have a good one. And um, no, I've got nothing more to say on that. Okay, bye-bye now, bye-bye.